Well, a pair of friends caught our attention for their unique take on art. They've spent hundreds of hours in a Brooklyn warehouse perfecting their skills. And tonight, they show CBS 2's Alex Dennis how they hope to carve out a place for their work with a simple Halloween tradition. Chris Soria and Mark Evans spent decades perfecting their craft. Typically you take anywhere from 3 to 16 hours depending on how crazy, how intricate. These childhood friends found a way to combine their two loves, art and Halloween. I always knew that I wanted to make a living doing something fun and creative. I never thought it would be pumpkins. <laughs> As professional sculptors for Maniac Pumpkin Carvers, Chris and Mark etch hundreds of pumpkins a season. Logos, illusions, portraits, each one more elaborate than the last. But they weren't always experts. You have to kind of ruin a few pumpkins sometimes to really get the hang of it. They've learned many tricks during the years. Now they're giving you the inside scoop. When you pick a pumpkin, test for a strong stalk. And the stem's still a source of nutrients for the pumpkin, and it's also an indication of freshness. Don't ever cut into the top. It weakens the pumpkin. We cut the back off and, and scoop out the guts, and it looks like you're uh, willing to get your hands dirty, yeah. which is really important. Ditch those candles to light your pumpkin. Instead, use an electric bulb for a brighter glow. Grab a few common kitchen tools. You can use a paring knife. You can use a lemon zester. Scrubber sponges are really helpful for kind of polishing your pumpkin. Then get creative and start carving. In Brooklyn, Alex Dennis, CBS2 News. I can't do all that. Mm -mm. Can you? No. no. But then we just hire those guys. I bought stickers this year. <laughs> <laughs> and just slapped them on there? Yes. It works. No mess, right? If you'd like to see these guys work in person, head to Luna Park in Coney Island on Saturday. They'll be out all day carving a gigantic pumpkin. So enjoy that. Yeah.